so what's up guys and welcome back to another video i know i know i've been lacking on the video uploads but i'll explain that a little more when i get home and show you guys what's been going on but right now i just got to harbor freight to pick up something that i needed for the diff fluid that i need to put in the front diff i got three quarts of it right here so i need that thing that goes on top of there to be able to pump that into the differential So yeah, today ended up being a really nice day out. It's about like 45 degrees out. But yeah, this is the update on the Trailblazer. As you guys can see, it's still sitting the same way as the last video. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys some more about what's really going on. So here we have all kinds of pieces on the floor that I gotta put back together sometime tomorrow. Drill bits and extractors that I had to use. And right over here, I'll tell you guys what I had going on. So, as you guys were able to tell from my previous video about that broken bolt right there, as you guys can see, and yes, I was messing around with it. So I did end up uh, buying a welder and trying to weld the nut onto it. So that's what I've been doing these past couple of days. I was really busy trying to get that out. I bought the welder from uh, Harbor Freight, the uh, flux core welder, but the welds from that welder weren't strong enough to take that off. Um, like I said, I welded a few nuts onto it and they weren't holding on. And every time I kept trying to take it off and turn it loose, it would just keep breaking. And then I finally ended up trying to drill right in the center of it and try to use an extractor for it. Started turning it. You know, I even heated up the surrounding area so it can make it a lot easier for it to come loose. And that ended up breaking inside the bolt itself. So. When I went ahead and tried to drill another hole in the center, it was just impossible because of the steel that uh, the extractor was made of. I wasn't getting anywhere, so I was spending days out here, out in this cold, because the cold was getting in through there, and this is not a heated garage, so I ended up getting sick trying to get that out. So yeah, I called a few shops, and I got a couple of quotes on uh, removing the broken bolts, and it was going to run me about $100 for both sides. And, you know, at this point, I just said, screw it, you know. Uh, I was, I'm going to have them do, you know, all the work to it since it's going to go to the shop anyway. And it's less it's less of a chance of me breaking something else or something else going wrong. So, yeah, they're going to end up doing all the work for me. Um, I'm probably going to most likely have it towed over there just because I don't want to struggle again with uh, putting back the exhaust manifolds on. And yeah, like I said, man, I wish I could have saved myself the money and do it myself. That way I could buy more car parts with that money I'm going to spend on, at the shop. But I just want to get this thing out, out of here already and start driving it and start having fun with it and doing some more little upgrades. Yeah, like I said, this is the update and she's sitting the same way. But what I'm going to do is just start throwing everything back together. I, I got new ball joints, upper and lower ball joints because these are garbage already this outer tie rod is still good and i do also have some other small parts for it uh for example the speed sensor i broke off i'll t try to take everything off so i got that already i have the gaskets the multi-layer steel gaskets to throw on there i have the pcm of nc spark plug wires with the heater socks or the heater boots heat socks whatever you want to call it i have everything already throw it all back together, put the tires on. I'll probably just most likely have it towed out. But yeah, I miss driving this thing. You know, I should have just took it to the shop in the first place. And it just went from a simple, you know, header install to something like major, you know? But at least I got the oil pan baffle out the way. And yeah, yeah, I'll probably take it to the shop on Tuesday. Tow truck is gonna come by and take it. And uh, yeah, I'll probably take some time today and tomorrow to throw everything back on. Um, get that ball joint pressed and put those new ball joints on there. Yeah, man, as you guys can see, I got a whole bunch of mess going on. But yeah, that's the update on the Trailblazer. And it sucks that I haven't enjoyed it the way I wanted to, but just shit happens. Um, and I just, I can't wait for it to come out the shop all fixed and done with. That way I could just enjoy it some more. And like I said, get some new parts for it, maybe some 22s. Not powder coat these, some color, 
So you guys give me some uh, some ideas to to do with it. I am gonna get the windows tinted, matching the backs. Um, but for now, that's it. Just want to show you guys what's going on. She's still sitting the same way, but hopefully we could get her back and running pretty soon. And hopefully she's up and running in a few more days.